Welcome back. Today we're talking about the Vivo Barefoot Premius Light Shoe. I've probably seen an advertisement about it. I've only shoes for about one year. As you can tell, they're dirty. They need some extra lovin's, but they just work so well. And I just wanted to share why I like this shoe for strength training at the gym. I do want to add that my husband has the same shoe too. We got them actually at the same time. His are really, really worn in. These comments are going to be from both my husband and I and our experience with these shoes. So to start off, let's go with the price. The price is $175. This price is pretty average in the industry. You see a Nike Metcon, I think they're like 140, 150. I used to have Nike Metcons before. I really like them. I still think they're a great shoe. I just wanted something more of a natural feel. I wanted to go back to the basics. I wanted to be in socks, but you will not catch me at the gym in socks. That's why people wear socks to the gym or they wear sandals and then they have their socks out there because they want to feel all the sensory. They want to make sure that they have the best grip when they're lifting. And I feel like this is what those shoes give you. They give you that sock feeling, but you actually have shoes. The outsole is very, very thin. Get as close to the ground as possible perfect for lifting this shoe is very very flexible if you look at the material it feels like you're wearing a sock like when you have it on it just literally feels like you're wearing a sock they're super comfortable the front doesn't bother me the back has never bothered me either they have a really good flexible design just think about like you're wearing a sock but it has an outsole but the outsole is very thin the sizing they say that they are a true to size I got a size that I thought I was when I got them they felt a little bit bigger and I looked on their website they said that they're meant to feel a little bit bigger. I wanted to return them and I was gonna get something smaller, but I'm glad I didn't because now that I understand why they say get your true size, it, they're gonna feel bigger when you get them, but there's a reason for that because your feet are gonna start to change. You start training them to have that open toe box, they're gonna spread a little bit. Now when I wear other shoes, other shoes feel tight. I got rid of a lot of my shoes because after I started wearing these, my foot kind of spread out a little bit, so the other shoes just felt kind of tight. That's the same for my husband. He actually had bunions and that's a whole reason why we found him these. We wanted something that would allow his feet to just kind of be normal and comfortable. They are actually improving. He's had them for one year. So he's like, I want to get some for work and I want to get all this. And he loves them. They've been helping his bunions, which I never thought a shoe could help your bunions. It works. It's pretty good. You can try it for a hundred days. If you don't like it, you get your money back. So right there, that tells me this company knows that they have a good product because if they're willing to give you that promise, they have a good product. They're light and flexible for a full natural mobility. That's exactly why I got this shoe to begin with because I wanted a shoe that I can just feel naturally like whenever I walk it comes with me. When I bend over it bends with me. It takes a full motion. It bends with you. Now when you start wearing them at the beginning it is kind of weird because when you go out or when you're walking in them you feel everything. Meaning if you walk on top of rocks you're gonna feel the rocks and at the beginning it's the strangest thing ever because you're not used to feeling the ground and that sensory feeling feeling on the ground when you're with your shoes because your shoes prevent you from feeling that. But with these shoes, you're gonna feel everything going on on the floor, but not that you're like, oh my God, you know, am I barefoot? No, you still have the sole that's gonna protect your feet, but it is giving you that full mobility for you to feel like you're walking bare. I do think that they're great for like a really active lifestyle. They're great for walking. They're great for strength training. I don't think that they're really great for long periods of walking. I have hip issues and I require some arch support. So these will not be my go-tos for walking. I usually walk about an hour at the gym and after the hour my body's telling me okay we gotta get out like these shoes are not the most comfortable for for cardio so we need to kind of get out of here i don't think that they're the most comfortable when it comes to walking but like i said i do have hip issues my husband he will walk on the treadmill for an hour and has no complaints with this shoe but for strength training they're perfect i love that when i squat i really feel like i don't have any shoes i feel like i'm just on my socks and i'm getting a really good grip grip like you know what i'm talking about when you're doing a squat and you really want that grip you really want to make sure that you're feeling every motion in your body and then you're getting a really good strength training session in that's exactly what i feel with these shoes and i I did not feel that with the Metcons. I felt like the Metcons, they were super nice. They gave me a great support for working out, but they were a little stiff. Like they don't bend like these do. So for these, if I'm doing like jumping jacks, they're kind of jumping with me. It's like if I was doing it barefoot, it does take an adjustment. So I wouldn't tell you that hey, you can go to the gym and that's fine, like there's no worries. But when it comes to cardio, you do want to ease into it. So maybe you want to start with 10 minutes, then you want to go with 20 minutes and then 30 minutes and then so on and so forth. But like I said, maybe 
it just depends on me and my body and my body doesn't react well to it because my husband, no problems. They say that they thrive for strength training, calisthenics, animal flow, not really sure what that is, and light road running. Now, if you can run in these, you are a champ. That means that your ancestors really prepared you to be running barefoot. I mean, that's kind of what they did, right? I would not take these running. They're not the most comfortable for me to walk in. I can walk in them max an hour, more than an hour. I'm already starting to get a little bit irritated. I kind of want my Brooks if I'm going to be running. And I love this. And this is going to give you a perspective of what this company is about. This is what they say on their website. They say the unnatural isn't working. It's time to get back to the basics and let nature heal us. Because I feel like a lot of us look for this big, big, big arch support, me included. You, you look for the thickest soul that, that will fix your back and then we'll do this and we'll do that. But maybe we just need to get back to the basics barefoot and we just need to let our toes breathe. We need to let them come out. We need to let our body do naturally what it's going to do. And I feel like this is exactly what that gives me. It gives me that supernatural feeling. These shoes have helped my husband. He has bunions and they have truly actually helped his bunions. I think it's because his toes are spreading out a little bit that it's kind of helped like the bunion go from like this to kind of his bunions would have to be surgically fixed this is not like the solution for bunions but i think if you have very minimal bunion issues then i think that these shoes would do very well for you do they last a long time it depends on how you wear them like my husband's his are falling apart a little bit over here you can tell in the bottom that he uses them quite a bit on the inside you can see that he is a pretty heavy guy like he's six one i think he weighs 230 pounds or something like so he's a big muscular guy so they're kind of rubbing off here in the middle but he did take these in the sauna he did cardio in them he did strength training in them so he's used and abused these shoes for over a year but then if you look at mine mine are not falling apart mine are still intact in the condition they're not white like they came in and if you look at the inside there's nothing in there going on i don't know if it's because i'm lighter and my husband's heavier and that's why his are rubbing off or because he took them in the sauna and i didn't i'm not quite sure final thoughts on the vivo premius light i think it's well worth it i think it's the best shoe for strength training i think it's perfect it brings you back to the basics they look super cute they look super comfortable and they are comfortable that's that's the best part of it they're gonna take a little bit of time to get used to them when you do get them because like i said you're gonna walk outside and you're gonna feel everything if you the floor to a carpet you're gonna feel that difference you're gonna feel if there's a little rock in your floor and you step on the rock you're gonna feel the rock it's not gonna hurt because like i said there's a soul that's protecting your foot but you're gonna feel it it's a whole different sensory like i remember when i first put them on I was like walking around the world like oh my god all this sensory that I'm feeling is just like wow I love it I've loved them since day one and I would definitely get another pair I would get some of their cute shoes that they have like just to stroll around town just to have something cuter if you have any questions about this shoe let me know if you want to see a video about great running shoes I can make a video I was in the military eight years in the military so we did a lot of running but at the end of the day every shoe is different and it just depends on what's comfortable for you and we all have different feet. So we kind of have to try different things to see what works best for us. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see a video on Camel Fitness Review, the brand of Camel Fitness, then go ahead and watch this video next because it's a really good review about a brand that you do not want to miss out on. They've got really good deals. Their prices are like $34 for a pair of shorts and their shorts are really good. So watch that next. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.